Right, hello everyone, this is Patina, back with the 1010 Music Bitbox, the alternative firmware, the synth box. We have it loaded up already. Uh, hopefully you turned your speakers off before you did that and turned them back on, you're ready to go. Uh, so let's dive into the oscillator section. So here it's uh, basically like a wavetable oscillator. You can see on the uh, this basic oscilloscope, giving you an idea of the waveforms. Um, what's neat is you can click on each one, brings up this menu. Um, by this knob here, you can actually scroll through different possible um, wave shapes. So let's give that a listen here. A lot of variation in there. Um, overall pitch, the level of the wave, and it has a wave position down here. That's the same for both uh, both waveforms. So here we could say pick something else, like Batman 2. Who doesn't love Batman? I think it might have something to do with this wave feature. There we go. And then you get uh, the two waveforms modulating each other. Go back into the uh, let's go into the oscilloscope menu. Uh, and here you can see again the overall pitch, the level of that that waveform. The duty cycle, which comes really uh, in handy. Say you're using, um, now we're in saw waveform, should go through these first. There's uh, also triangle, square wave, uh, sine wave, and a noise. So say we're in square wave, you could use that duty cycle change the timbre of that square wave. You can also say uh, in another future video I can kind of show you, you can use bring in a, an LFO envelope and actually go through this duty cycle uh, or sequence it to um, give your waveform some animation as you're using it. takes us to the main screen here. So let's turn down one of these waves. So the top wave, we'll just go ahead and turn this level down to zero. Hit this home button and go back. Now we should just be hearing this lower wave. Which looks like here, so all square waves. see that duty cycle playing on this oscilloscope here. Let's go ahead and bring back that second wave, the Batman 2. Let's bring it up to about 80 percent. And see what that sounds like. Use the home button to go back. Cool. Last thing to know about this uh, um, the synth box oscilloscope settings here. Um, built in, you can also have presets. So up here, there's a, a minus symbol and a plus symbol, and you get the title of that. That's the preset. So you can actually scroll left to right and load up uh, other combinations of waves in that wavetable to give you completely different sounds. So here's another example: the one rimba. Try a couple more here. Two wubba. Looks like that Batman wave's coming back. Skrillex ready there. There's a uh, three sparklies. As you can hear, it has some built-in effects, and we'll go over that. Um, I should mention all the sounds just coming straight out of the module. At this point, so all the effects you hear are actually built in. We'll go over that in the in another video. So just try one more. Glass bubbles. Cool. 
hope that gives you a good idea about the really the power of this this new firmware update. Uh, the oscillator section, the presets. Um, there's really a lot of amazing, amazing settings in here. So thanks for uh, staying tuned. Please subscribe and like, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye from Patina.